So my name is Josue Llamas. I came from Mexico uh, to college here in Boston. And then I, I, played, I played basketball when I was in high school. And then here I was like, I'm going to try something new. And there was this ballroom, you know, meeting. And I joined because uh, I, I kind of got tricked into joining. And then I stayed for four years. I want to just sort of explain a little bit of what, what it's all about. Because I think it's kind of like an obscure, not really well-known sort of world, you know, the, the, like the world of ballroom dancing. There's four big styles of ballroom dancing. There's Latin, which is cha-cha, rumba, jive, samba, and paso doble. Uh, there's rhythm, which is basically the American version of many of these. So that includes mambo, rumba, swing dancing, and bolero. Then you have the, your, your standard and smooth, which are you know the kind of thing that most people associate with ballroom. You know, with like the tie and the vest and everything. Which is, so you have your foxtrot, your Viennese waltz, the tango and then the American version of all these. As, as you can see, there's judges to get 90 seconds to dance. And all, like all the couples can be positioned at any different place in the dance floor. You want to be positioned in a strategic place because the judges could be at any point and they, they generally move. So judges might be here, they're usually like three or four. Um, they only see you for a few seconds, you know? So what matters is not so much like the dance that you're doing per se, it's like your, your technique. There's kind of like a quarterfinal, semifinals, final sort of el el elimination until you get to the final, which is usually eight or seven couples. So then you have a lot of space and that's when it's really fun. There's different progressions. When you start out is the newcomer level, which you're basically just trying to move your feet in front of another person and not step on each other's toes. Um, then there's the bronze level, uh, which, you know, usually like a semester or so, then you get to silver level. And then to advance to gold, you really need to like do well in competitions, gain points, and eventually you'll move to gold. And then the top, you know, is um, the open, the open dances. Uh, but I just want to talk briefly about one of my favorite was the Viennese waltz. Now the Viennese waltz is different from the waltz. Actually, waltz should be here. Um, forgot to include it, but waltz is uh, in both the standard and smooth. So there's that was really bad. <laughs> it's in both standard and smooth. Uh, I'm more graceful in dancing than in writing. Yes, 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 yes. So there's there's like a routine that you will kind of figure out with your partner. And it's usually just one partner for a, like a style of dance. Traditionally, I mean, you, you can switch partners, but traditionally you have one partner for like rhythm Latin and one partner for like smooth standard. So you, you just practice like this routine that you will just do. The most important thing in dance is the, soup, the, the hot soup face. The I face. was about to say, it looks like <laughs> that, that look of just determination and concentration <laughs> yeah, that really. you've got on there is we call it the hot soup face because you're always like because you your face is demeanor like 70 percent of dancing is in the face so there you go it's a hot soup <laughs> yeah because it looks like i'm blowing on on hot soup so that's what we call okay. it hot soup face so it's like so like uh you know I mean, different dances should have a different face, you know. Like if you're doing like a like a like a pretty waltz, you should be like enjoying yourself. If you're doing like a paso doble, you gotta be like intense. And there is some kind of like showmanship, you know, especially the judges. You know, if if your your mind is sort of if your eyes are just looking nowhere and you're looking bored, you know, it, it does play a little bit. Someone if a judge is deciding whether to call you for the next round, if they want to keep seeing you dance. Like once once actually in in Viennese waltz, someone like was gets got so dizzy that they like collapse like they fell like she fell like like the judges were stopped and ran is like are you okay and then in another i think it was in a tango someone did like a dip and her head hit the knee of someone else who was like nearby but she just kept going but she was holding her head just still spinning around because you only have the those, show like, must go on seconds the show must go on. like some people's like like dresses get, get stuck on, on the hair of someone else and like you have to fix it like you only have a few seconds to like do it. You know? I mean, I could talk so much about all these dances. It's like 19 competitive ballroom dances, not including the, the social dances that are, that are not even in here, you know, like bachata, like salsa. But these are like sort of the competitive dances uh, that people can, you know, can do. And it's really fun.